Mr. President of the General Assembly, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic slowly recedes, giving way to new and difficult global challenges, we need to decide upon policies that are required to heal the world. Our work today should pave the way for better global governments. A key dimension in this endeavor is building a sustainable future. This is, of course, highly dependent on quality, inclusive education. We need to prepare our citizens for the headwinds of a changing economy, a changing climate, and transformed social realities, while safeguarding basic rights and active citizen participation. As such, I'm happy to see that the current summit has focused on the issue of education in all its forms. Romania commits to adapting its education system to current and emerging needs. We are implementing a comprehensive regulatory overhaul based on a broad-based reform process called Educated Romania. Over 10,000 citizens were actively involved, making it the most inclusive policy design process, fostering the vision for Romanian education towards 2030. Within the framework of the current summit, Romania has highlighted the topic of teaching and the teaching career. Teachers are the heart of education. As part of recent reforms, Romania has committed itself to offering adequate initial and continuous training, motivating salaries, and an enhanced professional status for teachers within our society. We also strive to offer teachers greater autonomy in organizing school activities. Teacher participation in decision-making is key to their involvement in the transformation of our educational systems. In the past year, I have initiated in Romania a reflection on education regarding climate change and sustainable development. It translated into a concrete strategic vision, mainstreaming the philosophy of the sustainable development goals in education. The young generation is a strong ally in this. Nevertheless, teachers are also essential to make sure that our children gain the necessary competences to safeguard our planet's resources and beauty. Transforming education is about matching the exponential curve of the current global challenges with all the resources that education has in order to foster progress, peace, and prosperity. For this to happen, we need to make sure that we prioritize education in our policies, including in the sensitive field of public financing. No reform can be done without investing in our youth, their teachers, and thus in our future. It is the most beneficial investment we can all make. Thank you for your attention.